Howdy, Matthew Pizgatti. Just want to run you through a, a brief video explanation of how to calculate the amount of plants that you would need a day, that you're generating a day, to get to where you'd like to be at um, financially, to, to get the payout that you're, you're looking for. And, you know, as, as with all things in life, I recommend setting smaller goals at first just to see um, where you can get to. And you make those achievable goals and then, and then increase those over time. Uh, so for myself, I, I think something reasonable is, say, maybe you want to get $200, $200 on the weekend from this. You want to cash out $200 on the weekend. You might be following that 5-2 type of ratio. So five days of the week, we're going to plant and then those two days we'll harvest. And of course, keeping in mind that if we hit this this point, because that is a good amount, and how many plants we're, we're actually receiving, if you once you get near this amount, you're going to see that amount on that those weekend days that you're cashing out, you'll see that increase uh, a lot quicker than where we are or where I am now with this lower amount of plants. So every week when you get back around to the weekend, you're actually going to see a significantly higher dollar amount just because of the way the compounding works but yeah let's use that as our example so let's say we want a hundred dollars for each of those days on the weekend and so the amounts that we're, we're going to focus on on the scheduler is and i'll put this link in the description again uh, we're going to look at how many seeds we need we're looking at how many seeds we need uh, for one plant and what that dollar amount is and that's how we're going to back into this so we take our $100 for a single day that we'd like to be able to harvest if we wanted to, and we're going to divide that by how much a plant is currently worth. And again, this has been fluctuating a little. Uh, you know, I think it was $570 something the other day. I bought in at like $620, $615, somewhere in there. It's, it's going to fluctuate, but assuming that that's the value, we need to be creating, we need to be producing enough seeds every day for 17 plants. So we need to make enough seeds for uh, what would be 17 plants worth. And so now, now we say, um, you know, what, what number do I need to be at to have this? You know, how many plants do I actually need to produce that once a day? So now we're going to take uh, the, the amount of plants that we have here. We're going to multiply it by how many seeds it takes to create one plant, which is, oh, not point, it's actually 2, 592, or 2,592,000. So this is how many uh, seeds we actually need to be dropping a day. And so to get that, now we're going to divide this gigantic total seed amount by how many seeds one plant makes. Now the amount needed to make a plant and the uh, amount of seeds each plant drops stays the same. So those two amounts are constant. The only thing difference is, different is this LP token value, which will change also our, our plant value. So it's 86.4... I don't know why I keep doing the point. I'm looking up there. 86,400. Yep, so we need about 513 plants. So myself, I'm sitting at... Where is my animal farm? I've scrolled down a good bit here. There we go. So I'm at 56 right now. I'm at 56. So for myself, I'd have to be at... 513 plants to get that hundred dollars a day but that's that's kind of a just a, a good and quick analysis where you can see where you would need to be at to make that amount that you that you'd like and and like i said the compounding really adds up as we get you know more plants we drop more seeds a day which means that we can make more plants a day and this seems like a big number um, but it that compounding interest on top of itself really makes the whole process a lot quicker than we would think. 
and you will see this. You'll see this your, yourself if you, if you did hop in here. Obviously, do your own research if you're not in yet. Not financial advice telling you what to do with your funds. But you will see how quickly that, that stacks up. Um, and really, you'll see it in the timers. That's why I recommend using something like this one or Drip Viewer, because you'll really see it in the in the countdowns. You know, when I started at 14, 15 plants, uh, it's taking what, like two days, two and a half days to make a plant, and then you compound that plant, and you see this plants per day go up a little bit, and then the next day you compound, and you see it go up a little bit, and you see your daily increase, and that gets faster and and faster just because of the, the nature of the business, of the nature of the beast of compounding. Every new plant gives you 86.4 thousand seeds per day. And then every time you hit that 2,592, you get another plant. And each one of those plants, we don't really care how much they're, they are worth unless we're about to buy in new capital, you know, throw, throw new capital in to buy plants. Uh, then we do care how much, how much they're worth. I mean, if you bought in at $6 and then you see it drop to $5, well, if you if you have faith in this project, you might go ahead and buy another hundred plants or whatever whatever you can afford, uh, because you're averaging your price per plant, your dollar cost averaging down, um, which just leads to easier recouping of of your uh, your investment quicker, uh, especially with this compounding. So uh, we're getting close, just about an hour and a half now. It's always exciting to plant again for me and uh, I mentioned in the last in the last video but the reason I've let seven stack up here is not because um, I would normally do that well this this low this many uh, plants this low number I'm compounding practically every time uh, like every plant as soon as it's ready if, if I'm available if it's not 2 a.m. or I'm out of the house uh, I just have seven sitting here because I think referrals I'm guessing someone used the link and, and signed up in one of the descriptions which is which is great I even though these programs, and I've said this time and time again as, as I'm making these, these like helpful tip videos, none of these protocols that, at least in the DRIP ecosystem specifically, require referrals. They're not dependent on that at all. Um, there's enough like taxes and fees, percentages that come out for each transaction um, that really make it not need the referrals. But with any program, whether it's any, anything in, in the whole world, and I'll always drive this point home, uh, stocks, whether you're you know, just talking about the value of something random like a, a material, gold or silver. If someone doesn't give it value, if they're not using it for something, buying and selling it, then it really doesn't have a value. I mean, things only have value because we give them value. So even though referrals are not required for these protocols to function, these, these drip protocols specifically, it is going to reward everyone the more new capital that's coming in. In some cases, at least in, in the garden, I think we're going to see that. Now, this one is made, like it says here, uh, it is created to start everyone relatively equal, which is why that plant price is going to drop when we get a, you know, as time goes on, if there's not as much, as much new capital coming in. And that gives other people time to, to buy more plants sooner and catch up quicker. Um, but the but the refer, the point is the referrals do help because there's some type of incentive to get new capital in to to keep uh, the game going for everyone and I think everyone benefits from that so that's that is the way that the referrals help but they're not required you could still do great without referrals <laughs> you don't need those specifically but if you have friends and family and you believed in a project I mean hell yeah like throw give them the link say here you go. You know, toss it out there, or if you make videos like this of something new you've discovered or a strategy that works for you, um, you know, I'm just rambling on half the time in these anyway, uh, just kind of sharing where I'm at. My drip's still climbing uh, at the steady 1% a day. That's good. Uh, but yeah, so referrals aren't, aren't required, but they do seem to pay out a little bit and uh, give you a little boost now and then, which is always welcome. And then, uh, yeah, this video is mostly just about the calculator. So that's, that's how we back into that on the scheduler. Is, uh, we really just need to see how many uh, it takes to make one plant, how many seeds it takes, and then you see how many seeds are dropping per, per plant, that 86.4 thousand. Every plant makes that much a day. Those two amounts do not change. The only thing that's changing is the value from those seeds. So that's how you kind of give a quick calculation. 
If I want to make my, my little mini goal, I need 513 plants. So that might be a, a next step goal for me to shoot for. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to probably set a smaller goal at first since I only have 56. But So I'll, this is actually going to be a more long-term goal for me. What would be the uh, dollar value of these plants, I wonder? 513 times this 584 right now. Yeah, that'd be about three three grand in there. But I'm already at 300 something, and you know that, that's power of compounding. I did not, um, I did not put 300 dollars in into this. You know, I, I did not put that that much in. So a little bit of referrals, a little bit of compounding. Um, I'm trying to think how much I threw in. It it can't be more than 200. It might have been 150 or so, 170. And we're not more than a week, and maybe I'm eight or nine days in, ten. It's, it's, it's growing pretty quick. I'm happy with it. And it's a higher risk, as they say, but I'm happy with the direction it's going. So I'm going to keep at it. All right, well, thanks, everyone, for watching. This has been another video from Matthew Pizgatti. Uh, if you are signing up or you have any questions, just uh, throw a comment down there. Um, or if you'd like any recommendations on some of the Telegram groups, uh, well, you could you could probably find them. There's there's a good number. There's one specifically for the Drip Garden. I don't think it's officially endorsed yet by Forex. It may be, but there's a lot of good uh, conversation in there directly involving the garden. It's a beautiful day outside here in Texas. Hope you guys are ha having great weather wherever you are, and go out there and enjoy it. Don't stress over your plants too much. Just uh, use the Drip Viewer. Come back when they're ready and uh, plant again. We'll keep farming.